Hi everyone, welcome to our five minute interview, Graph Databases for Dummies. Uh, with me is Dr. Jim Weber and Rick Van Buren. Rick and Jim, can you introduce yourselves please? Hello everyone, my name is Jim Weber and I'm Neo4j's Chief Scientist. Hey, my name is Rick Van Buren. I uh, work in the sales team of Neo4j in Europe. I lead part of the sales team, uh, I've been doing so for eight years. Great. For everyone who doesn't know, we just released Graph Databases for Dummies book. It's a excellent book of over 48 pages of graph databases fundamentals. It's a really great way to begin and understand graph databases. Um, as well as you've already written a book on Neo4j, what made you want to write graph databases for dummies? So for me, it was uh, re redressing some of the, I think, imbalance in content. The overwhelming amount of content we see is, is targeted at people like me who really understand graphs. And in fact, I've written some of that in the past. But there's kind of a, an opportunity to uh, provide content for people who are just first dipping their toes into the water. I think this book is about people who are smart, curious, but new to graphs, and it gives them a practical way of getting going quickly. And from my side, I, I think I'd like to add, you know, one of the, one of the, the, the coolest things about graphs is that we continue to find you know, lots of new audiences, lots of new people to talk to that, uh, that have a lot to learn about, uh, you know, the essential characteristics of new insights coming from graphs. And I think, you know, the more people we talk to, the more people we can uh, expand that vision to, the better it is for everyone. Not just, you know, from a, from, a, from a technology point of view, but also from a business point of view. I think it really helps to talk to more people and explain Lane, you know, and summarize, you know, what we've learned over the past couple of years in this uh, wonderful world of graphs. So Rick, as a regional VP of Europe, you talk to thousands, if not hundreds of people who are new to graph, who are early in their graph journey. How does this book help them? Well, I mean, you know, from my perspective, I think it's really, uh, it's really about um, providing a little bit of a guideline, you know, because you know there, there, there are so much, there is so much content uh, around graphs and graph databases out there already. I mean, just for us, for for Neo4j, you know, you can find uh, a graph-related article or blog posts or Medium article or you know, whatever it is uh, about just about anything, you know, just, just about any topic that has any kind of relevance uh, uh, to, to, to graphs, right? Um, but to kind of condense that and summarize that and provide people with a little bit of a guideline of, you know, this is important, this is less important, you know, you, where should they go? What should they look for? Now, that's really what we're, what we're trying to, to achieve here. You know, we're really trying to give them that guideline. And um, I know for, for you know, from my personal experience that, you know, there's so much content out there that it's actually quite kind of useful to get a guideline, you know, to, to, to get a little bit of, uh, uh, of help in, you know, finding the right content. And Jim, so you're on the other spectrum, other chief scientists, you talk to people who are really experiencing graph, who's been very long a graph journey. How can this book help them? So there's, there's nothing in this book that graph experts will find that's new. That, that's for sure. Um, but of course, the folks that graph experts work with may be less experts. They may be new technologists who are new to graph. They may be managerial colleagues who really want to know something about graphs, but are not sure where to start. So I think this book provides a really good uh, stepping stone, if you like, from folks who are new but curious uh, on the way to becoming graph experts. It can also help with things like you know, explaining to your boss why you're trying to build a system in a particular way. And the fact that it's quite short, it's less than 50 pages of, of uh, material, means that your boss can read that you know, in a short amount of time. It's kind of a, you know, an, an evening's worth of, uh, of, of reading. So that your, even your boss can learn why, that you're, why you're building certain systems using graphs and the benefits that you'll get from them. I love that. I love how it can help both someone who's new to graph, but also someone who's experienced a graph help you know, push the graph journey and explain graphs even more. Rick. What's your favorite part about writing this book? The, the, the favorite part of it is really that it, it kind of forced me, and I think it's the same thing for Jim, you know, to kind of summarize our learnings a little bit. You know, we, 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 we're trying to guide people, right? Like I said earlier. And, and in order to do that, you have to think it through. You know, it's, it's kind of difficult as an author to, to bring things down to under 50 pages. You know what I mean? It's, a, it's not a trivial thing to do because obviously we've learned a lot. There's so many things we could talk about and all of that wonderful stuff. But to kind of condense it and make it something that again someone could read in an evening um, that's uh, that's uh, that was the the favorite part I would say after individuals download this book how else can they learn so I think on the the technical side 
uh, community.neo4j.com is a kind of technically oriented uh, community site, which is super friendly. The, the, the graph community is wonderfully friendly. Uh, go there, chat with your, your peers there. They'll always help you out. If you're looking for something as a slightly more technical step up uh, from this book, there's the book that Rick wrote, Learning Neo4j. There's a book that I wrote, Graph Databases. I think they are really good technical resources if you want to kind of take the next step in reading. If you're uh, more of a kind of domain expert and you're looking for how do graphs fit into my vertical, then Neo4j.com, we run a whole plethora at, at the moment, at least in the zombie pandemic era, of virtual conferences that are in a variety of verticals, healthcare, government, uh, you know, uh, logistics, the, the, the whole gamut. So ha have a look at neoforj.com, find a conference that suits you. There's probably a time zone that's only marginally inconvenient and join in with your peer group there. You'll hear lots about what graphs have already been used for and get some ideas about what you might use graphs for in your particular domain. Well, thank you everyone for joining and thank you especially to Jim and Rick. We really appreciate you giving us our time and for writing this book. Um, if anyone wants to get a free copy of the book, please visit neo4j.com, events and resources under books, or you can also download the link below. Thanks everyone.